All right, so fuel primers. So here's a brand new one I got uh, off Amazon. And I am learning that these are good fuel primers, but not for outdoor applications and not for, especially for not uh, um, underwater and uh, uh, jet skis that often get submerged. So here's one completely all together. And so here you go. So there's the handle, this guy, this guy. This piece is on top. Um, he, he is actually a press fit. So pull that off. And so first I'll just show you how this all works. So we'll take it apart. Okay. So um, here's literally all your parts and I will line them all up. So we got this, this, um, yep. It actually goes this way. Cool. All right. There we go. All right. So this piece, not absolutely necessary. This goes on to the end of the plunger, right? Um, and then this spring just gets it to uh, uh, pull back in. Um, and so uh, what happened? This one failed on me. Um, uh, I bought a ski and then uh, six months later, uh, I went to pull this primer and just totally... Um, uh, totally was stuck on me. And so if you can see right here, he's a little rusted. Uh, so first off, uh, not a great um, choice of metal for a water application. Anything that has iron that can rust, this would be much better if it was brass or ideally stainless steel. So um, if you look down here, uh, you probably can't see too well, but you can see it's, it's not looking great down there. So the biggest piece is that when this plunger uh, goes in, and uh, give me just a second, I'll have to pound him in because he's uh, really tight. There we go. All right, so that spring would be in there, but that's not necessary. So you can see right here, um, I don't know if you can see the movement, but there is a little bit of movement back and forth. And this is definitely not watertight, and there are zero seals in there, absolutely zero. So, um, and then of course, the resting position of this is going to be with it down um, almost to the, well, yeah, actually literally to there, right? So that means that this, the plunger's right here, so this entire cavity is open, and so if water does get in there, it is definitely not going to drain uh, because you got this plunger seal right here, right? So if water does get in here, it's just going to sit there and it's going to wreck, uh, wreak havoc, and, uh, and rust up, and then this guy is gonna get hard to use and whatnot. Um, so that's why it is not a good application for water environments, especially if it's gonna get submerged. Uh, here's the other piece if you're interested. So um, this outside is what pulls in. So as it pulls in, uh, the plunger pulls in, it creates vacuum, and so it's gonna lift this up, and then uh, gas or whatever the fluid is can come into the chamber. Then as you push out, there's actually a hole in this guy, so uh, as you push out, it's going to close, so it closes off that inlet and then only goes out. And what we also discovered is there is a ball in here so that when you are pulling in, um, when you're pulling in, that ball is going to come in and it's going to land right here on the inside of this stopper. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's, it's kind of round. So that ball will sit right there and it will not let uh, very much fluid. Now this is, it looks pretty much exactly like it's a BB. This is really not round or smooth at all. I don't know if it rusted a bunch, but um, it does have rust, but this is still, even if it wasn't rusty at all, it's not perfectly smooth. And so I'm guessing maybe that was by design so that when it pushes this way and it gets to the inlet, or I guess I should say the outlet, um, down there, uh, which is flat, that it doesn't close it off all the way. Uh, but I'm assuming that they made this rounded so that it would sit better and provide a better seal when you're pulling this um, forward so that you're not pulling in the, uh, the fluid that you're trying to push out, um, in this case, as the primer. Um, so anyways, yeah, so that's uh, how this all works. So if they had a better design, if this always shut and there was like an O-ring on this, on this surface in between there and there and always shut, that'd be, that could potentially work. If they had an O-ring somewhere inside there, 
uh, that could work, but they don't. So this is not a uh, good application for jet skis or uh, PWCs uh, or anything outdoors. I'd even say that's going to get wet. But uh, if you are using this, then always make sure that this is pushed down. So at least you can try and avoid getting water in there. There you go.